conducted for all polling stations in Konoin constituency. And as we speak, I've just uh, gone around the institution, tight security around six police officers that are guarding that particular room where only ballot papers are in there, not the ballot uh, boxes, not the officers who are supposed to conduct that particular election. So that just confirms what we've been uh, hearing from uh, residents in Bomet, where they are saying Nairobi can go ahead and say everything is going in on in Bomet, but here on the ground, nothing much. One of the aspirants uh, seeking the governor's uh, seat, uh, Dr. Julius Cones, of course, former member of parliament for this particular constituency, where are we? Because uh, yesterday we understand uh, aspirants uh, unanimously agreed that uh, because of the shortcomings that they had verified the material that had come on the ground, there was no point of going on with this exercise. Nairobi says it's all systems go. Nobody can call off the exercise unless they do. What is the true position, Mashmiwa? <clears throat> the true position is that uh, really there is nothing going on. Uh, the ballot boxes, the ballot papers which are here uh, are not enough, particularly for this constituency. And that's, that's the same uh, the case for other constituencies also. Uh, you have also seen even the returning officer is not here. The presiding officers are not here. They went back to their homes last night. They have been here like uh, the whole night. They are tired. They are hungry. I think, let us say the truth, um, the national election board of the party has not prepared well for this uh, this election. Uh, all the logistics, even transportation of these ballot papers to the polling centers have not been put in place. By now, you should have been seeing vehicles here ready to, to transport those papers. They should have been here by last night. They were not there. So I, I think for the party to insist that elections must continue is to, is, is to tell us that um, they, they are not ready for a free and fair election. Mm -hmm. But you can see the people here are saying they want nothing short of a free and fair process. Yeah. Yeah. Anything, anything short of a free and fair process, uh, they want to exercise their freedoms. One, for example, when we checked last night, there is a polling station here with registered photos of 1,250. Mm -hmm. We only found that uh, the ballot papers which are here are only 200 for, uh, ballot papers. Mm -hmm. Now, where do you put uh, the other 1,000 photos who are ready? Mm -hmm. Remember, this is a jubilee zone. The yeah. turnout here is expected. Yeah. 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 The turnout here is expected to be about 70 yeah. percent. Yes. So for them to uh, to to underestimate and and bring 30 percent of the ballot papers, I, I I really don't know. Unless let them also explain, unless they have already distributed the balance of the ballot papers to to some known people. Yes. 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 Yeah. But but between the question many are asking, the material was supposed to arrive under tight security and uh, 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 lock and key until this morning or when all agents are there to certify that uh, they've not been tampered with. Yes. At what point did the aspirants discover that the material that has arrived is less because were, were the ballot materials opened and verified the number to be little? It is very surprising that a lorry just came, called uh, one of the officials and delivered the, the, the ballot papers even without passing through the, the, the security officers. Yes. I actually was the one who came here in the evening just passing by trying to check whether preparations are on. When I realized even the security officers were, were not there, I had to call the OCPD and the DCI who came and they were also surprised to find that some of these papers were dumped here as early as, 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 as midday. This was around 5 p.m. in the evening. So it seems like either these people were not prepared or there is a scheme that these it's people scheme. are trying to... Yeah. Yeah. So, so what is the way forward? Because it seems to be the confusion. Uh, Wasen Gishu, we hear the same. Kericho, we hear the same. And Nandi, we hear the same. What is the way forward? We understand uh, there, were, there is another crisis meeting again for aspirants. Is that true? And if so, where exactly? Yeah, there is uh, an aspirants meeting going on right now in Pomet, where we are headed to. Um, but if you look at the trend across the Rift Valley, this problem cuts across. It seems, my, my feeling now, as I can say 